On November 10, 2023, the most important military aircraft of the 21st century took off for the first time. No countdown, no global headlines, no dramatic reveal. Just a black-winged bomber lifting quietly into the California sky, already doing exactly what it was designed to do, operate without being seen. This isn't a prototype, this isn't a concept. The B-21 Raider is already flying, already in production, and already forcing China and Russia to rewrite their war plans. While adversaries spent decades building air defenses meant to stop American bombers, the United States skipped the arms race entirely and built something those defenses were never designed to detect. This aircraft doesn't just replace the B-2. It replaces the idea that airspace can be defended at all. And the most dangerous part? Almost everything about it is still classified. Let me show you why the B-21 Raider quietly changes the balance of global power and why the people planning against it are already behind. The world's most important aircraft flew for the first time on November 10th, 2023, and almost nobody noticed. No massive media rollout, no breathless cable news coverage, just a classified bomber taking off from Palmdale, California, completing its maiden flight and disappearing back into development while changing everything about how America projects strategic power. This is the B-21 Raider. Two are flying now as of September 2025. Production has begun. The first operational squadron will stand up before the decade ends, and the program is on time and on budget, words almost never spoken about American military aircraft development. China spent years building the H-20 stealth bomber to match the B-2 spirit. Russia struggles to keep its aging Tu-160 fleet operational, and the United States just fielded a bomber designed from digital blueprints, tested through over a thousand virtual flight hours before it ever left the ground, and built to dominate contested airspace for the next 50 years. Let me show you why this aircraft represents the quietest revolution in military aviation, and why adversaries are scrambling to counter a threat they barely understand. The foundation is something unprecedented. The B-21 is the only bomber with full digital design. Before the first physical aircraft existed, engineers flew it over a thousand times in simulation. The digital ecosystem developed by Northrop Grumman enabled agile testing of production hardware and software, first in integration labs, and later on a flying testbed. Before its maiden flight, the B-21 underwent over 200 test sorties, accumulating more than 1,000 flight hours to validate onboard sensors, hardware, and software in real-world conditions. Think about what that means. Traditional aircraft development builds prototypes, discovers problems during flight testing, redesigns components, and iterates through years of fixes. The B-21 discovered and resolved most issues digitally before metal was ever cut. This digital approach has resulted in a 50% reduction in software certification time, while flight test teams can now assess aircraft performance in real time rather than through post-mission analysis. The result? Only one software adjustment was required during the first year of flight testing. One, that's not incremental improvement over legacy programs. That's a complete transformation of how aircraft development works. And it's why the program stayed on schedule and budget while other major defense programs hemorrhage money and slip deadlines by years. But digital design is just the enabler. What makes the B-21 genuinely revolutionary is the philosophy. Stealth focused on survivability, not penetration alone. The B-2 Spirit was designed to penetrate Soviet air defenses, drop nuclear weapons, and escape. The B-21 is designed to operate continuously in contested airspace where adversaries know it's coming but cannot stop it. The aircraft features a flying wing configuration optimized with radar-absorbing materials and aerodynamic enhancements to reduce radar and thermal signatures. Visually, the B-21 shares the iconic flying wing configuration of the B-2, but closer examination reveals a series of refinements that reflect both advances in stealth technology and lessons learned from earlier programs. The attack angles appear steeper compared to those of the B-2 Spirit, enhancing the aircraft's stealth characteristics. But stealth alone doesn't make the B-21 unstoppable. Integration does. The B-21 is designed to integrate into kill webs, not operate solo. It doesn't fly alone, bomb targets, and return. It operates as a node in the Joint All-Domain Command and Control Network, sharing sensor data with F-35s, satellites, surface ships, and ground forces. The aircraft can detect threats, transmit targeting coordinates, and coordinate strikes across domains, all while remaining undetected itself. Unlike previous bombers, the B-21 is designed primarily considering Indo-Pacific command operations in a potential conflict with China. That's not abstract strategic planning. 
That's acknowledging the threat environment where the bomber will actually fight. China has deployed advanced integrated air defense systems specifically to deny American bombers access to the Western Pacific. The B-21 was designed from the start to defeat those systems, operate in that environment, and hold targets at risk that China considers untouchable. The weapons loadout reflects that mission. It will carry the AGM-181 LRSO strategic nuclear cruise missile, the B-61 Mod-12 and Mod-13 strategic and tactical nuclear bombs, and a range of conventional ordnance including the AGM-158 JASSMER cruise missile. That's not just a bombing platform. That's a strategic deterrent that can hold any target on Earth at risk with conventional or nuclear weapons. Launched from ranges, adversaries cannot defend against. Production is moving faster than anyone expected. In January 2024, the Pentagon approved low-rate initial production following successful ground and flight tests. William LaPlante, the United States Under Secretary of Defense for Acquisition and Sustainment, gave the go-ahead to begin producing B-21s at a low rate after the results of ground and flight tests and the team's mature plans for manufacturing. The second B-21 flew its maiden flight on September 11, 2025. As of October 2025, at least six B-21s are at various stages of completion. The production rate suggested by the United States Air Force and the Pentagon is about seven bombers per year. That might sound slow compared to fighter production, but bombers are vastly more complex. And seven per year, sustained, creates a fleet of 100 operational aircraft within 15 years, enough to replace the entire B-1 Lancer and B-2 Spirit fleet while complementing the upgraded B-52J Stratofortress. The Air Force initially planned to procure 100 B-21 Raiders, but studies have suggested increasing the total order to between 145 and 200 aircraft to ensure the force's future strike capabilities. 145 to 200 strategic bombers that China cannot reliably detect, Russia cannot effectively counter, and adversaries worldwide must assume are overhead at all times. That's not just deterrence, that's strategic dominance. But here's what makes the program truly different. Production is under budget and ahead of schedule. Those words almost never appear in defense acquisition. Major programs routinely run billions over budget and years behind schedule. The F-35 took decades to mature. The B-2 cost overruns nearly killed the program. The B-21, on time, on budget, flying, and production accelerating. Northrop Grumman implemented an integrated production strategy accelerating industrial ramp-up while optimizing manufacturing processes from the initial stages. Entering Lot 2 production in the fourth quarter of 2024, the company has benefited from a steep learning curve, improving efficiency and cost control. The recent award of the low-rate initial production Lot 2 contract at the end of 2024 marks a significant milestone, highlighting the technological maturity of this next-generation stealth bomber. The aircraft is designed with an open systems architecture, enabling rapid insertion of mature technologies and allowing the aircraft to be effective as threats evolve. That's critical. The B-52 has been in service for over 70 years because upgrades kept it relevant. The B-21 is designed from the start for continuous modernization. New sensors, new weapons, new electronic warfare systems, all can be integrated without redesigning the airframe. Secretary of the Air Force Frank Kendall stated he plans to fly in an autonomously piloted F-16 to demonstrate trust in artificial intelligence, but the B-21 is already incorporating AI in ways the public hasn't seen. The bomber's sensor fusion, threat assessment, and mission planning all leverage machine learning algorithms that process data faster than human crews. The aircraft doesn't just fly missions, it learns from them, adapting tactics and refining performance with every sortie. And here's what adversaries fear most. The B-21 and LRSO missile are part of a larger long-range strike family of systems, much of which remains in the classified realm. The bomber is the visible component, but intelligence suggests a broader architecture of penetrating sensors, cyber capabilities, and directed energy weapons, all designed to operate together in contested environments where traditional platforms cannot survive. China knows this. Our LRSO missile, which will go on our bomber force, has had four successful flight tests in 2025 alone. Based on time, based on budget, it's going very well. That's not just a bomber and a missile. That's a strategic system designed to hold Chinese leadership targets, military installations, and critical infrastructure at risk, regardless of how sophisticated their air defenses become. 
The B-21 program represents a cornerstone of strategic nuclear modernization, but calling it just a nuclear bomber understates its role. This is the aircraft that will conduct precision conventional strikes in the opening hours of any peer conflict. It's the platform that provides strategic reconnaissance over denied areas. It's the command node coordinating joint strikes across air, land, sea, and cyber domains. And it's the deterrent that makes adversaries question whether starting conflicts is survivable. The first operational base is Ellsworth Air Force Base, South Dakota, designated main operating base number one. Other bases, including Whiteman Air Force Base, Missouri, and Dias Air Force Base, Texas, remain key locations for future B-21 deployments. Training infrastructure is already being built. Northrop Grumman is developing comprehensive training capabilities, high-fidelity full-motion simulators, immersive labs, and virtual spaces as part of the Air Force's formal training unit. These will include training content and devices for future pilots, weapons loaders, maintainers, and support personnel. The Air Force's goal is to begin flying B-21s operationally before the end of the decade. Operational doesn't mean deployed in small numbers for limited missions. Operational means nuclear certified bombers on alert, ready to launch within hours, carrying weapons that can reach any target on Earth. Nuclear certification must occur within two years after reaching initial operational capability as directed by Congress. And the silence around all of this is deliberate. The B-2 Spirit's unveiling in 1988 was a massive public spectacle. The B-21 Raiders' first flight happened with minimal fanfare. The second aircraft flew with even less attention. Production is ramping with almost no press coverage, and adversaries are forced to plan around a capability they cannot fully assess because so much remains classified. That's strategic ambiguity weaponized. China must assume the worst about B-21 capabilities. Russia must plan defenses against threats they cannot accurately characterize. And both nations must invest billions in countermeasures for an aircraft whose actual performance envelope, sensor suite, and electronic warfare capabilities remain classified. The most important aircraft in the world flew for the first time on November 10, 2023. Two are flying now. Six are under construction. Production is accelerating. And within a decade, the United States Air Force will operate a fleet of bombers that can strike anywhere, anytime with conventional or nuclear weapons. Bombers China cannot track, Russia cannot stop, and adversaries worldwide cannot ignore. The B-21 Raider didn't launch with hype. It launched with capability. And in strategic warfare, capability beats hype every single time. <laughs> <laughs>